really didn't know what to expect. The odd thing was that it was very beautiful. You're actually walking on dead men's bones and yet you're looking out to see the sun shining. The terrain would have been like it is now, a hundred years ago before this battle took place, or battles. My first impressions when I got to Gallipoli was how beautiful the landscape was. When we uh, first arrived, we were very fortunate to have Brad Manera with us and uh, he is a historian, was able to walk us around a number of the sites, making it very personal. Being taken up to places that are certainly in the mythology but didn't really mean much until, until we started seeing it. So the Neck, the Sphinx, Shrapnel Valley. I got up there looking out over this pristine coast, thinking to myself, a hundred years ago, there were bloody battles with young men losing their lives. And you go down into Shrapnel Valley, and there are still bits of bone and spent cartridges. A lot of it, of course, after a hundred years has been picked over. But even so, it's still there. Kick a stone over, maybe there's something underneath the stone. And it was that sense that this landscape had great beauty, but also great sorrow beneath it. Last day, I'm um, actually working in um, pastels and uh, uh, acrylic paint uh, because the oils will not have time to dry. So um, I'm, I'm using my uh, water-based uh, crayons today, but um, uh, we seem to have come back to where we started, which is Anzac Cove. You can't get away from the, the sort of mood, the colours, the light uh, that you get all plain air. So I think it was very important for me to do as much as I could all plain air and then to take them back, uh, hopefully complement those with some photos, but really working off the sketches to, to work them up into bigger works. I brought those all plain air works uh, of oils on paper back to Hong Kong and I started working them up. And as I was working, I kept thinking about that history underneath. And so I started playing with the idea of building up a larger version of some of the all plain air works that I had done on the spot into larger canvases, but then burning through the initial surface to what was underneath. I, I stenciled onto the canvas images that were associated with that First World War epic battle. And I then burned through the surface of the canvas that was depicting the beautiful landscape so that some of these images uh, could come through. My background is also in experimental animation and I was thinking as I was painting and, and working on those, those particular pieces that I would like to go a step further and maybe incorporate some moving image. So the last series that I did for the Gallipoli series included a number of works where I painted directly onto TV screens and then I ran the war footage underneath. So it was the same images of the Sphinx, of Lone Pine, uh, the view from the neck up to the end of the Gallipoli Peninsula. And I'd then have either the sea battles or the air battles or the trench warfare. I have those looping as, as, as a film underneath so that you've got this interaction. It was particularly appropriate, I thought, for what I was feeling when I came away from Gallipoli, that, that sense of the surface, which was today very beautiful, and the history, which underneath had all this human, human sacrifice. <laughs>